ladies welcome back to my channel like always and do tell me how you are write it down in the comment box below so today's video is all about how to take care of the rashes the body rash and the diaper rash of newborn infants toddlers kids etc 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 let's talk about diaper rashes first because they are the most most annoying problem uh, from the day one I would say every mommy face uh, that was a ridiculous these diaper rashes are especially diaper rashes are nightmare totally nightmare for mommies especially for new mommies the most important and the best way to prevent diaper rash is to keep the uh, diaper area dry and clean the longer they are out of the diaper uh, they are much better whenever possible use cotton cloth and plain water to clean the uh, diaper area change the diaper very often do not let your baby sit in the stay in the uh, wet diaper for too long if possible use cloth diapers or cloth nappies because they are very comfortable for the baby and do wash them regularly use quick dry if you don't know what quick dry is quick dry is something like this uh, it is a very good for babies it dries faster it's lightweight durable and breathable no or minimal rashes highly hygienic diaper, diaper free nights no feeling of heat cozy and smooth and silky feeling and it's very good it's very good for the baby because it highly absorbent and it does not seriously does not causes any kind of uh, rashes on the butt area do not use those uh, plastic sheets which are available in the market because they tend to produce too much of heat and heat ultimately cause a uh, diaper rash and they also they are not absorbent not at all they are they do not absorb uh, anything uh, that's why i would recommend you to use quick dry because they are the best these quick dry are very easily available on the internet you can find it anywhere you just have to write down quick dry and you will find everything on the google what i used to do uh, what i used to do when my baby was sleeping is that i used to open one side of the diaper so that the air could pass easily and secondly the diaper also becomes loose and it does not make her feel uh, uncomfortable while sleeping when my baby had the diaper rash for the first time and uh, unfortunately my doctor wasn't available so i thought i would do something about it and i went to the chemist and the chemist guy gave me this tube this is soframycin if i pronounce it soframycin it is framycetin skin cream i'll write the spelling here on the screen somewhere so it's it becomes easily available uh, it's it, it becomes easily clear to you and uh, i was like what 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 the hell this chemist guy has given to me this this might not work and things and stuff like that and the next day when i went to my doctor and i said i said that my girl is having diaper rash and it's becoming a nightmare she's crying and fussing a lot then you know what she wrote she wrote this same cream and i was like mm-hmm mm-hmm okay okay and what she said was uh, was a bonus bonus thing because she's a doctor of course she will tell me the best and she said mix soframycin plus ghee in the same ratio and apply it on the uh, diaper rash every time you change the nappy do not miss it and after uh, i did that and the ghee should be homemade and uh, i applied it every time i changed her nappy and trust me the rash was completely gone after three applications totally gone nothing no redness nothing at all nothing no pain nothing and i was so surprised and i was so happy that she is happy she is not suffering in pain she doesn't have any problem right now uh, she was all smiling and <laughs> i don't know just i was so happy about that if you don't have ghee or if you don't have uh, uh, sephromycin the next thing is that you can apply vaseline vaseline is very inexpensive and it's easily available uh, you can apply it on the uh, rash area and close your diaper and the the vaseline will keep the moisture away so that your baby do not get any diaper rash plus the vaseline is preservative free chemical free and it does not have any kind of fragrance the same thing goes with the ghee because ghee uh, ghee prevents the skin 
the diaper area from the moisture and it keeps the area lubricated uh, so that the baby could pass this stool very easily please contact your do doctor before applying sephromycin because you want to get yes from your doctor first before using any medication on your baby or even on yourself so these all were my tips and my experience regarding the diaper rashes. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope this video will be useful for you and for the new mommies and please do share so that other mommies can find this video helpful and the by diaper rash do not become nightmare for them and I shall see you in my next video. The next video will be about the prickly heat rashes, the body rash uh, on the babies, on the newborn infants and toddlers. Bye! Bye.